What is going on, fam? Thank you very much for tuning in. Today, we're going to be assessing your strengths. Now, in this series, I'm actually going to take a little bit different in approach. I'm going to make this about a six-part video. The basis for this particular series is going to be Strengths Finder 2.0. A lot of people have been asking me, how do I find my strengths? How do I find my purpose? How do I scale my potential? I'm going to allow you to be able to do so in a manner that allows you to get the knowledge, skills, abilities that are going to be your core skill set. Now, I've talked about it in my book, Who the Fuck Am I?, about, you know, in order to discover your purpose and scale your potential, you need to figure out what you're good at. You've been taught to be a generalist and not a specialist, but I do want to give you a little bit of a caveat to even my own situation. A master of none is still better of na a master of one because at least that way you know or are cognizant of what you are good and not good at. But at the end of the day, it's not the person who's really reskilled really at one thing. It's the person that is very well endowed in many things, but has that one strong skill set. I like to sit, take the accountant for an example, in which case if an accounts receivable accountant only does accounts receivable for the rest of their life, and they never get to learn how to lead a team, they never get to learn how to lead a project, they never get to learn accounts payable, well that's going to be the distinguishment between a staff accountant and accounts receivable and accounts payable. Now that you understand exactly what I'm talking about, I want you to know that you can get Strengths Finder in a link down below. It actually supports this channel if you make a purchase. Note that you buying this has no reflection on the relationship that I have as an affiliate to Amazon, but it allows me to continue creating content for you and also allow you an educational opportunity. Why are we talking about Strengths Finder 2.0? If I can be very straightforward with you, it's about ensuring that you can find a career gasm or you can find a niche that's going to allow you to become happy. Finding your strengths, and this is how you know if you're using your strengths or not. The drawback to what most people are doing right now, and whatever your situation is, go ahead and comment that down below. If you hate work, if you have negative interactions, if you're constantly dreading to do whatever project people assign to you, if you feel like you are less creative, there's little to no production, and you're giving poor service, you're not using your strengths. People have put you into a position that's not allowing you to hone that skill set and then get to the next level of your life. I want you to be able to find your strengths, but because I can't personally do that for you, because you have to be willing to do that for yourself, Strengths Finder is a really good read. It's actually a really short read, if I can be candid with you. And it's going to allow you to figure out what your skill set is. And it's going to be much more comprehensive than you trying to nitpick it all at the same time. Moving forward, I do want to let you know that you can actually get an assessment done after, while you're reading the Strengths Finder 2.0 book. But again, you have to be able to go ahead and get that in order to find that assessment. In which case, let's go ahead and dive into step number one.